get to the latest from the Bahamas on the arrest of FTX founder uh, Sam Bankman Fried. Uh, Kate Rooney joins us now. Hi, Kate. Hey, Joe, good morning. Sam Bankman Fried is now in a correctional facility in the Bahamas after his request for bail was denied by a judge yesterday. The magistrate judge there in the Bahamas citing heightened flight risk, the former FTX CEO, will remain in that jail until his next court appearance. That'll be over arguments for extradition scheduled now for February 8th. Bankman Freed was first taken into custody in the Bahamas late on Monday, the night before he was set to testify in front of the House Financial Services Committee here in, Wa in uh, Washington, guys. He faces eight criminal charges out of the Southern District of New York, with authorities alleging he defrauded investors by funneling FTX customer money into his hedge fund, Alameda, Behind their backs, the CFTC and SEC also filed parallel civil lawsuits yesterday. And in a statement, his lawyers said Bankman Freed is reviewing charges with his legal team and considering all of his legal options. FTX's new CEO, meanwhile, John Ray, who led Enron through bankruptcy after its collapse, did appear before Congress yesterday and ripped into Bankman Freed's management. This is really old-fashioned and embezzlement. This is just taking money from customers and using it for your own purpose. Not sophisticated at all. This is just plain old embezzlement. The Senate, meanwhile, plans to hold its own hearing on FTX today here in D.C. around 10 a.m. Eastern. Back to you. It's a lot of money. Uh, and we've talked about it before on this show because one of Andrew's favorite movies is Brewster's Millions. And you, you, yes, he, had to, you know, he had to spend a certain amount. So you can't spend $7 billion. So, so there must have been trading losses. That's got to be part of it. Or it's somewhere. Is it somewhere? And, and do, do we have any hope that customers uh, are made half whole, a third whole, all the way whole? So John Ray, the new CEO, has been talking about using forensic investigators to track this. But one of the... The hard things about this, you'd think because it's cryptocurrency, there's a lot of talk about blockchain and how it's easily traceable. It's ironic that this is a crypto company. And this one forensic investigator I talked to said it sort of looks like a blob on the blockchain. You can't really track it internally. So they're having a hard time really parsing through what happened here at FTX, following the money trail. One option for customers to get their money back would be some sort of buyout. John Ray has also mentioned that they are open to, to some sort of deal um, and rescue package at this point for FTX. But it seems like right now he didn't have a lot of answers as to exactly where it went. There were calls from regulators and lawmakers yesterday to return the money. Uh, if you're either a politician or a company that's taken funding from FTX, saying that really belonged to customers, get in touch with the Southern District of New York to return it. And, but it's not clear right now if you. customers will be made whole and at what point. It could take years. Well, you got... Campaign finance law, he gave a lot, but right. you can't give billions. He, he didn't, well, you can't he spend. Was, he was using other people's names to, to do Yeah, but you still, get him on campaign you're not even at $10 right. million dollars there. You, and you can't, the real estate is not okay, more than. Some of this had to go to money heaven. If you were, That's where if I, you think, were I think, I think it lost. I think he lost FTT, it. The FTT token. Right. I mean, I some gone. of that was like fake money that was probably never there. Right. It's the customer funds I, that you got to worry about. And I think you're also thinking about a whole double counting situation.